Come back. There's no eggs in it. The only thing going in this cake is 10 ounces of cherry coke. This cake is 100% vegan. Mmm. Mmm. Oh god, oh here it comes. Now put it back the same way you got it. Use your mind to make the flattening device come to you. Hey, set a timer I'll for do three what minutes, you say. okay? This time, but next time, it's gonna cost you your life. Hey, Siri, set a timer for three minutes. The cake actually took 26 minutes to cook. Keep in mind that oven times might vary. So here's the finished product. It actually looks pretty freaking amazing. You know, with the icing on it, it turned out pretty awesome. And then now I did. Um, actually not put the saran wrap over and let it sit for 24 hours, which I did with the second one. So you can see it's pretty flaky and not, there's no binder holding it together without the eggs or the oil. You know, it was pretty good, but it really lacked, um, the consistency and, uh, holding together. So the second one, I used my Yoko's vegan butter. It's amazing. And then I used just egg. It's awesome. If you guys haven't tried these products, it's amazing. It's a, it looks like a lot like Dijon mustard, so don't mix up the containers, okay? So, two ounces of vegan eggs. Did you guys know a can of Cherry Coke actually has 12.5 ounces of soda in there? This is mind-blowing. Wow, I never realized this. It's crazy. So I used 10 ounces of Cherry Coke. You can see the batter is so much thinner. So when we compare them side by side and the right looks way cooler, way more cinematic because I had a ring light on it and the left one was just the overhead light from the kitchen. Look how cool the, uh, the one looks on the right. But the one on the left is way better. So the finished product. Look at this one. This cake is amazing. The secret was putting saran wrap on it and letting it sit for 24 hours straight without opening it up. The moisture, the vegan eggs, and the butter made it amazing. Look at this. It sets up perfect. It was not flaky. Here I touch it and check it out. I even thought I cooked it a little too long. I cooked it actually for close to 30 minutes. I thought I overcooked it, but this turned out amazing. Look how it holds together. I'm so proud of this. Good job, you did it.